Oh, most people look through their wallets or their pocketbooks, and way down at the bottom, past the credit cards and baby pictures and so on, you usually find a little old piece of dog-eared poetry. I was cleaning up my wallet the other day, and I ran across a whole bunch of IOUs, some of them 35 years overdue. And you know the funny thing? All these IOUs are owed to one person, and I kind of felt like that maybe now would be a pretty good time for an accounting. Mom, I sure hope you're listening. Sweet lady, I owe you for so many things, a lot of services, like night watchman, for instance, lying awake nights listening for coughs and cries and creaking floorboards, <laughs> and me coming in too late. Boy, you had the eye of an eagle and the roar of a lion, but you always had a heart as big as a house. I owe you for services like uh, short order cook, chef, baker, for making sirloin out of hamburger and turkey out of tuna fish and big old strapping boys out of leftovers. I owe you for cleaning services, the daily scrub face and ears, all work done by hand, and for the frequent dusting of a small boy's pants to try to make sure that he led a spotless life. And for washing and ironing that no laundry could ever do. For drying the tears of childhood and ironing out the problems of growing up. I owe you for services as a bodyguard for protecting me from the terrors of thunderstorms and nightmares. <laughs> and too many green apples. And Lord knows I owe you for medical attention, for nursing me through measles, mumps, bruises, bumps, splinters, and spring fever. Oh, oh, let's not forget medical advice. Important things like, if you keep on scratching that, it'll never get well, or if you cross your eyes, they're going to stick like that. And probably the most important advice of them all, boy... You be sure you got on clean underwear in case you're in an accident. And I owe you for veterinarian services, for feeding every lost dog that I dragged home at the end of the rope, and for healing the pains of puppy love. And I owe you for entertainment. Entertainment that kept the household going during some pretty rough times. And for wonderful productions at Christmas, Fourth of July, birthdays. And for making make-believe come true. And you did it all on such a limited budget. I owe you for construction work. For building kites and confidence, hopes and dreams. And somehow you made them all touch the sky and for cementing together a family so it would stand the worst kinds of shocks and blows and for laying down a good strong foundation to build a life on. I owe you for carrying charges, for carrying me on your books, for the necessities of life that a growing boy somehow, eh, they just gotta have. Things like <laughs> a pair of high-top boots with a little pocket on the side for a jackknife. And one thing, Mom, I'll never forget. When there were two pieces of pie and three hungry people, you were always the one that decided, well, I'm not really that hungry anyhow. These are just a few of the things for which payment is long overdue. The person that I owe him to worked very, very cheap. She managed by simply doing without 
a whole lot of things that she needed herself. My IOUs add up to more than I could ever hope to repay. But you know the nicest thing about it all, that I know that she had marked the entire bill paid in full for just one kiss and four little words. Mom, I love you. <laughs>